Organizations have told us that one of the most compelling features of Windows Vista is BitLocker Drive encryption. If a PC with BitLocker Drive encryption is lost or stolen, the contents of its hard disk is protected from unauthorized access. BitLocker Drive encryption can help organizations meet their data compliance regulations and perhaps preserve their reputations and avoid substantial fines should an employee's PC go missing. But the proliferation of USB flash drives and other removable storage devices may pose an even greater risk to business data. They're very small and easy to misplace, but their high storage capacity means they can forfeit a large amount of sensitive information should one be lost or stolen. Microsoft has received overwhelming feedback from organizations who want a way to secure and manage these devices. With BitLocker to go, Windows 7 extends BitLocker encryption to removable storage devices while providing manageability through group policy. Consider a very common scenario. I would like to copy a document that I've been working on to a USB stick so I can continue working on it from home. This document could contain sensitive information about my company and my company's customers. You can see that my IT administrator has used group policy to manage the risk posed by removable storage devices. When I connect my USB stick, I receive a notification saying that I need to encrypt the drive before I can write to it. If I ignore the dialog box, you'll see that I'm unsuccessful at copying my data file to the stick. Usability has also been enhanced by exposing BitLocker within Windows Explorer. Users now have simple right-click access to protect a drive as well as to manage keys. This exposes BitLocker to users in an intuitive and natural way that does not require them to dive into the control panel. I can choose to protect the removable storage device with the password and optionally with a smart card device. Once I encrypt the drive, I can save my documents to the device and know that they are protected by BitLocker and cannot be viewed by anyone who doesn't know the password for my USB stick. IT also has a lot of control over how BitLocker to go protects users' data. Separate policies exist for operating system drives, fixed disk drives, and removable data drives. Here, we can see the policy settings that deny write access to removable drives not protected by BitLocker. IT also has other settings that they can configure, such as requiring a password and even setting length and complexity requirements. Once the USB stick is BitLocker protected, I gain full access to its contents. I can copy contents off the USB stick as before, but now I can also copy and save files to the USB stick as well. I can also manage my protected removable storage with a right click on the drive. I can change the password, add a smart card, and other options. I can also choose to automatically unlock this protected USB drive on the computer from now on. As a result, the USB stick looks and acts like any other USB stick that I typically use today. Now, whenever I insert my BitLocker protected USB key on my computer, it just works. However, I can feel confident that my BitLocker protected device helps protect the data I have stored on it, even if the media is lost, stolen, or misused. BitLocker to go can be utilized on its own without requiring that the system partition be protected with the traditional BitLocker feature. Although I need a premium Windows 7 SKU to enable protection of removable storage devices with BitLocker, any SKU can be used to unlock and use a protected device. Finally, read-only support for removable devices on older versions of Windows is enabled via the BitLocker to go reader. The reader allows you to more securely share files with users who are still running Windows Vista and Windows XP. While BitLocker has been a great driver for Windows Vista deployment, one of the more common deployment problems was making sure that machines had the required dual partitions. Windows 7 BitLocker has been enhanced to automatically create the necessary two disk partitions during a normal install. In addition, the drive size requirements have been reduced to 100 megabytes and the system partition no longer needs a drive letter. As a result, users cannot see the system partition and inadvertently or purposefully store information on the unencrypted disk volume. In addition, overall management of BitLocker has been enhanced by providing separate policies for the operating system volume, for data volumes, and for removable storage volumes. For example, I can choose to allow password protection for fixed data drives separately from removable data drives. I can even choose minimum password lengths and enforce password complexity if I choose. Another big ask from customers was better control for the PIN that is utilized in conjunction with the TPM chip to unlock the operating system volume. Policies now exist to not only set the minimum PIN length, but also to optionally allow the use of additional characters, including uppercase and lowercase letters, symbols, 
numbers, and spaces. Windows 7 BitLocker adds Data Recovery Agent, or DRA, support for all protected volumes. A big ask from customers, DRA support allows IT to dictate which BitLocker protected volumes, operating system, fixed, and the new portable volumes, are encrypted with an appropriate DRA. The DRA is a new key protector that is written to each data volume so that authorized IT administrators will always have access to BitLocker protected volumes.